There's a couple more things from this paragraph that uh, I think are noteworthy. There's actually quite a lot here. Almost every sentence in this past two paragraphs are quite full with instruction and meaning. But this one right here really um, was encouraging for me. Okay, so last paragraph that we just read, she says, Pray for yourself. Grow in grace. Advance. Don't stand still. Don't go back. Onward to victory. So in other words, real real quick, I'll just point out, the opposite of advancing is standing still or going back, right? So if you stand still, you're not advancing. If you go backwards, you're not advancing. So anything other than forward (laughs) Advancement is not advancement. Very significant point. If you're not advancing, you are retrograding. That's another uh, term that she uses. Okay, don't stand still. Don't go back. Onward to victory. Courage in the Lord, my dear boy. Now, battle with the great adversary only a little longer And then release will come, and the armor will be laid off at the feet of our dear Redeemer. Press through every obstacle. If the future looks somewhat clouded, hope on, believe on. The clouds will disappear and light again shine. So picture that instruction image there in your mind what she's describing. She's describing effort, right? Battle with the great adversary. Battle just a little bit longer. You know, all you have to do is today anyway. You can do that, right? That's all we have to do. Battle for today. Just this moment even. Just battle for this moment. And if you're always doing that, it's just this moment, just now. You can do that. You absolutely can. It's just the devil that wants to tell you you can't. Because it's not true. You can. And as you continue to fortify your mind with truth, You know, if you find that you're not achieving those victories, well, is the answer going to lie in giving up? Absolutely not. What that will accomplish is a guaranteed failure. Giving up is a guarantee. You know, if you want a guarantee, that will give it to you. But that's not what anyone wants, guaranteed failure. Failure, no. But guess what? There's a guarantee of success. The clouds will disappear and light again shine. That's a promise. That's a guarantee. Press on, battle with the great adversary only a little longer, and then release will come. That's a promise. That's a guarantee. And the armor will be laid off at the feet of our dear Redeemer. You will not have to wear that, uh, that particular armor because there will be no darts of temptation being thrown at you. You will be able to rest from that battle of fighting temptation. There will be no external temptation in the earth made new. So if the devil is tempting you to think that you're not going to make it, well, guess what? You're guaranteed to not make it if you give up. You are the only one that can bring truth to what the devil says. If the devil's telling you you're not going to make it, the only way that will be true is if you say, I give up. 
I reject our heavenly family. I reject truth. I reject life. But just because the devil tempts you to do that doesn't mean you have to do that. And when you recognize, well, that would be really stupid. (laughs) Sorry, that's what I would tell myself. That would be stupid to think that giving up is the answer. Well, that's a sure-fired way of defeat, right? Sure-fired, that's a southern term. Um, You know, that's a certain certainty for defeat, to give up. I mean, just use reason in that, right? Using reason is the devil's worst nightmare because all he has are smoke and mirrors. All he has are lies and deceptions, twisting things to misrepresent the truth. Twisting things, all he has are lies. But if he can get you to fall for it, well then, he doesn't care how he goes about it, what kind of lie he tells. So just recognize that, you know what? Well, yeah, if I give up, I will be defeated. Most certainly. And the opposite is just as certain. If I don't give up, I will be victorious. That is such an encouragement. And I think that, not that we are done or anything, but but this is the last part I think we should read tonight and discuss because this point is the ultimate point of importance for us because we are all battling with the great adversary. But all we have to do, you know, we don't have to think, oh, you know, I have to do this for how many years or months or whatever. No, you just have to do it for today. Tomorrow, you'll do it tomorrow. But that'll be then. That'll just be today. And that's all we have to worry about. So when the devil comes with these lies and tries to discourage you, take the time to reason it through. Practice identifying the devil. Don't let him fade into the the woodwork, you know, hide in the shadows and and lurk about uh, where he can't really be identified. No, you need to identify him, recognize what he's doing, so you can discern the truth to counter the lie. You know, you have to know what the lie is, and then, no, the truth is this. So, absolutely, do not give in to the temptation to be discouraged because that is the only way you will make it true if you give in to that temptation. But if you do give in to the temptation, cry out to our Heavenly Family to deliver you from that. And they can and they will because every moment we have a choice. To make every moment we have an opportunity to just from there on this is the way I'm thinking if the devil gets you in a moment you know what he'll try to discourage you and say oh look you gave in to me already you're done that's not true you've given in to him however many times in the past and our Heavenly Family is still helping they're still pleading They're still there, ready to help. So if you fall, you give in to temptation. The Spirit's there to prick your conscience and say, look, you don't have to do that. The devil will say, it's too late. Just like he told the rest of the angels in heaven, remember? We're told that they wanted to go back and repent, and he said, no, it's too late. You're done for. You you won't be let back in. You may as well just rebel with me. Well, that was a lie. But they believed it. And so they followed his advice, and they guaranteed their rejection from heaven. They guaranteed their banishment. So that 
is something from which we can learn a lesson. He's a, the devil's a liar, and when he tells you you've gone too far, there's no going back, that's a lie. And it's as simple as that. It's a lie, and you can just decide, no, I choose to side with the person who loves me. Jesus Branch loves me. He lived to show me how I can be an overcomer. And the whole Godhead is working for me, along with all the angelic hosts. They're all fighting for me. It's not over for me. I have the truth on my side. I can be an overcomer. You know, speak truth. When the devil tries to discourage you, don't speak discouragement. That's death to you. And it's death to others. Don't spread death. When the devil tries to discourage you, take the time to sit back and recognize what's happening. Wait a second. This is, how, you know, this is what the devil's trying to do. Okay, no. Fill your mind with truth. You, know, you have to have your, your mind filled with truth to have something to draw on. When you recognize that you're being tempted to do something wrong or to think something wrong, recognize the devil is not your friend. He doesn't want to see you happy. He wants to see you fail. It's our Heavenly Family who loves you. They want to see you succeed. They've given us instructions on how to do that. They're giving us everything we need to do that, but it will take effort on our part, but only for today. It will always only be today. So that shouldn't be overwhelming. And I tell you what, as you practice defeating the lies of the enemy, it gets easier. It gets much easier. But you can't let your guard down. It's still a battle. You know, he's subtle. Don't let pride creep in. Yeah, I got this. No, it's not you. It's our Heavenly Family strengthening you, providing the truth, so long as you keep their way of thinking, you will have victory over the enemy. And then we can all together, unitedly, move forward, onward and upward. And let's get this work going, guys. (laughs) Let's get this place running like an orderly, heavenly-inspired and heavenly-led movement and share the truth with the world and save the world from as much pain and suffering as we certainly can.